Hi folks, Scott Sega with you here again today, RTC TV4. Today in the studio, we brought down some folks from upstairs. That's right, the uh, technology sales department or team is here today. Uh, Mike Walkman, Sharon Morris, and Emily Bailey. Those are the three folks that are principally in charge of taking care of our business customers, providing new technologies. They are attuned to the latest and the greatest, let me tell you that, because of what they do every day and the customers that they service. So uh, we wanted to bring them down into the studio today, talk a little bit about uh, this core service here at RTC and the folks behind it. So let me start out by saying welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Happy you. to be here. Thank you so much for coming down. Time out of your busy schedules and, and uh, you help uh, make us possible. So I want to get you guys back upstairs as <laughs> soon as I can and out there in the communities. But... You guys have done a fantastic job of not only maintaining our business customers, but growing, and not just growing in numbers, but growing what we offer these customers. Um, we've not only evolved with technology, as I understand it, we've kind of embraced it, grabbed a hold of it, and led the way in some things, and, and that's this team right here making it happen. Um, I'll kind of work my way down the line here, start with Sharon Morris. Sharon has to be the most recognizable voice for about 50 miles just because everywhere I call I hear you <laughs> on the answering machines um, or the, the voice messages. So um, that's one thing you do is you go out, you work with the customers, but you also, when you set up these new systems, you're doing the voiceovers. For well, them. only because I can't get the customer to do it. <laughs> we, we actually would recommend that the customer sure. do it sure. so when they're customers and their clients call in that they're listening to a voice yeah. that's recognizable yeah. by but by that business well, but you're, you're recognizable to me for sure <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's, it's great though and so yeah that does make sense though that you you maybe want to have the uh the voice to go with the business but you do such a very nice job well with those you're very kind to that say do. that it's it's only because i can't get anyone else to do it <laughs> i understand that believe me so um on a daily basis you're talking with our business customers correct yes sir you're handling new requests or new services. Many new. Yeah. But then we also discuss the new technologies that are involved. Well, we've been involved in the last year uh, with actually installing services outside of our community. Yeah. Actually installing services outside of our state. That is amazing. And a lot of people don't understand how we do that yeah. and, and that we're doing that, but we are. Yeah. It's all over the internet. Yeah. It's VoIP telephone systems and we're happy to be doing it, but it's um, it, it certainly keeps us busy. <laughs> it does. So And be, because it is new technology, sure. it comes along with so many different new features and functions yeah. that not only do we have to become um, very well versed in, but then we have to turn around and train these customers right. with these. You have to be these. the expert, and you have to be the expert quickly, right? So it's it's been a challenging year, but it's been a great year. Excellent. We're looking forward to the new year. Excellent, excellent. Well, let's sneak over to Emily. Emily Bailey, you got a hat. You wear a lot. I know a lot of folks here at RTC mm -hmm. wear many a hat. You take care of a lot of the technical the technical yes. side of a lot of these sales and a lot of these business plans that we're putting out there. Right? Yes, there's more involved than just putting in the phone system. Yeah. You have to consider the POE switch, mm -hmm. the router. Sure. Going through another internet connection when we go outside of our area, they can't have our internet right. service. So we have a lot of hurdles we have to go over, make sure the network is smooth, yeah. get our own connection. That way we can make sure our phone service is working as it should. Yeah. And when we go outside of this community and we're off of the RTC network, now you're into the big world where you've got a bunch of players doing things maybe a little differently. So exactly. you've got to make sure that each piece along the way talks to each other so that you can offer that service. It's much exactly. more it's much more challenging when you're yeah. dealing with another internet provider. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But that's a that's a great thing and we've been able as you said to take that out of state. Um, let's go down to Mike. Taking RTC not only out of Fulton County but out of the state. Yeah, we uh, actually have phones on three continents. We have one in Europe and we have one in uh, in China. So, I love it. Um, yeah, uh, there's an economy of scale that uh, benefits all of our customers. Okay. Because uh, uh, when we can, um, can deploy something like Sharon and Emily have just described, um, it, it, it levels the playing field because you don't have to go to some, you know, national provider uh, that isn't going to give the kind of quality of service that we do, mm -hmm. um, and you can get all the same features. So yeah. it's, uh, it's, we, it's really fun, actually. We're always going to win the customer service game 
when it comes to the big guys. Yes, yes. we yeah. are. They focus on, hey, does it work? And we focus on, does it function well for you? Well, yeah. now that you mentioned it, a lot of companies actually just ship out the phone service. Sure. And in fact, one customer that we got, they we were reinstalling the same system because they weren't happy with the, the customer service. Just the service side of it. So, I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah, and, and you guys should take a lot of pride in what you do. Uh, folks, they can sincerely care. I can tell you that from the chit-chat that goes on in the office when something goes awry or when they've got a new customer. Um, uh, uh, you've got three people on this couch who are sincerely concerned about whether or not the service that you've ordered is working for you. They're also the kind of people that, is it the right service for you? And that's exactly. an important thing, right? Uh, it's kind of like the, uh, the ads I see for all these medications on TV. Am I supposed to go to my doctor and tell him what to prescribe me? Mm -hmm. And you're getting that now. You've got, of course, internet phone services. They see the ad and, okay, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be telling them what to do? So these companies, these fly-by-nights or these, you know, um, national companies with a hub somewhere and a small guy in a basement office who's taking orders, there's no service to that at all. None. Well, one of my favorite things to do is especially when it's a brand new customer mm -hmm. that, that we've not had any any time with. I just like to go and sit and sure. watch. Just watch how they work. Watch how things flow. Because once you understand that, that's when you can sort of like start interjecting mm -hmm. and giving recommendations. Because they do want our recommendations, sure. but at the same time, it's important for us to understand how they need it to work. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually the favorite part about my job. It's like putting a big, huge piece of... Uh, puzzle together. Yeah, yeah. And you, you immerse yourself down you do. in, in with the customers. You're part of their team for a while so that you can understand what they truly need. Yeah, That's we, an amazing Yeah, service. we don't sell um, telephone replacements. Mm -hmm. We sell unified communication systems. Yeah. So, like Sharon said, we want to understand um, sort of how the customer's business works, maybe watch a little bit and see where uh, we can show them tools they might not e even know exist sure. to uh, make them a lot more efficient yeah. and a lot more mobile. Absolutely. You and I have talked about this. and We've got some of this integrated here at RTC, mm -hmm. but you have systems by which if somebody calls the office phone and, hey, I'm late to a meeting, bam, an immediate transfer over to the cell phone. I'm now mobile. I'm talking to them. I get to another place. I can set it up to there. Uh, between the emails, the phone calls, the connectivity that you're providing, as you said, universal uh, communications or, or connectivity, that is a necessary evil of today's society. It I have to be connected. Is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody's internet is up 100% of the time, uh, but we run into customers who have um, um, internet service providers that aren't us, right. and they're looking for, well, what happens to my phone system when my internet goes down because it goes down, down all the time. Yeah. And uh, um, we have, through our unified communications, a very simple uh, soft phone you just put on your cell phone oh, nice. and you answer your desk phone on your cell phone and you might not even know there's an outage at the office. Yeah. And we all use it. Yeah. I mean, and we a love lot. it. So <laughs> we can you up 24-7, right? Well, I mean, it can. It's your backup. It, you right. can turn it off. You can, yeah. you can log out <laughs> of it, yeah. and that's always you one of the... need to every Exactly. Time <laughs> <get> <laughs> Not everybody wants that to work 24-7, right. right. but it certainly can. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. And all right here in Rochester, Indiana, you know, uh, you, we talk about the customer service, but in talking about the products, um, you know, I don't care if you're Google or Apple or Verizon or AT&T, it doesn't matter to me. The technology that's out there, we have people here in this building that understand the um, technology, understand the practical applications of this, but also understand the technical uh, end behind it. It's kind of like we're a one-stop shop. Yeah, and, and that's right. And we haven't even talked about our fiber delivery system right. um, on our network. So we can deliver gig speeds anywhere yeah. um, on, on our network. And uh, we have a lot of people taking advantage of that. Yeah. It's, it's uh, amazing what you can do when things just respond so quickly. Yeah. And our speeds here in Fulton County, and we've talked about this quite a bit, our speeds are unrivaled. I mean, if it's out there and it can be achieved, we have the same yeah. technology, the same infrastructure in place. Um, you know, we started this, what, 20-some years ago? For our fiber install, our initial? I don't know if it's been I, that long. Quite it's, roughly? It's, I, started, 15, I started 15. in 1999. Okay. And it was 
maybe I'm thinking like maybe a year after that. Okay. Maybe. So right around the 2000 mark. Then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are customer companies out there today just now thinking about putting mm -hmm. fiber in. And we've become an expert over the past almost two decades at how to operate it, how to make it more functional, more efficient, and better. So, we, you know, we're a couple decades ahead of the competition, if you will. Yeah. I saw a billboard south of Indianapolis that said something about uh, fastest internet in Indiana. And, of course, they don't know that we've been doing that for <laughs> a decade already. We've had that for a while. Yeah, like, that's old news. I love it. I love it. And you and I, Mike, have talked uh, off camera, of course, about, you know, if a tech company from, from Silicon Valley wants to move to Rochester, Indiana, we can support all their that's technological right. needs. That's pretty impressive for a community of our size. Yeah, and we're, we're connect, connected directly to the Internet backbone, mm -hmm. and uh, we actually um, have speeds that can go up to 100 gigabit. That's amazing. And we talk about fiber communications, of course, on the fiber optic cables. It literally is the speed of light that this it information is. and these packets are being spent. Yeah. That's just amazing stuff there. And right here, again, in Fulton County, Indiana. Um, well, you guys have just been such an asset to us um, and to the community here. You know, folks come up to me, oh, we're working with Emily, oh, we're working with Sharon, oh, they're great. And I love to get that kind of feedback. That's um, nice to hear. Because Thank it's, I'm a, I'm a customer service nut from way back. Um, cut my teeth in the restaurant industry while in college, and, and I, I enjoy as much as anyone good customer service, and it's hard to find these days. And I know we boast about it is, is something that we can do as a small company, but... It's actually, it comes from the heart. It's very sincere here at RTC. It is. Um, it is. And, you know, outages are going to happen in this industry. It doesn't matter if it's a telephone outage or a cable outage or an internet outage. They all affect us. Most of them are outside of our control. Um, there are more powers. As you said, we're connected to a backbone. There's, there's a major pipe of internet happening, and RTC being who we are, we're connected to it. That can go down. Yeah, and he, he, we have redundant connections, so we have one going north, one going south, and yet uh, still the internet goes down yeah. from time to time. And it does happen, but I, I think the important thing to know is that when it does, we got people rolling immediately. We're not waiting until Monday. Oh, no. You no. know, how many times have, have our guys back in CO, and we'll get an interview with some of these guys, but how many times have they been here? How many times have you guys been here at 1 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday? trying to fix mm -hmm. something that may not even be within our control, but we're here waiting so that we exactly. can hit the button when it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the last couple of outages, our guys have ended up helping fix somebody else's problem yeah. just so our customers could get up quicker. That's amazing. That's amazing. And, you know, we'll, we take the heat. and We, yeah, we right. take the heat with, when it's good. We don't get the credit. When it's bad, it's our fault. And, and uh, that's just the nature of business. We right. understand that. But for you out there, you need to sincerely know that these folks want to make it work for you. If you're working in a business and you could use some unified communications and where, you know, it's wherever you need to be, talk to these guys. It's free to have you come in and do an Absolutely. assessment. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. And this wasn't just a sales pitch. I wanted to introduce you to these folks, but you need to know that the services are here from RTC. And if you've got something, quote unquote, out of the box, that's their wheelhouse. If you've got some new widget or gadget that you think will help make your business more efficient and you need help understanding it, having it installed, whatever the case, talk to these folks. If they can't help, they'll find somebody who can. That's for sure, will. right? Yeah, and if you you know, you know run across an advertisement from somebody else promising something unbelievable, mm -hmm. we'll, be yeah, we'll be happy to go through yeah. it and explain it to you. Let's just talk about that candidly. I, I, I don't want to name names of companies, but I, I get the mailers. You know, um, here in, I live in Rochester. I get a flyer in my door that says, if you switch and come over to us, you're going to have free Internet for the rest of your life. You read the fine print, and of course, it's two years, you know, of, of a free or a low reduced payment, and then whammo at the end of that two years. We see a lot of those customers come back. To oh, us, we right? sure do. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah. love having them back. We're pretty yeah. confident they do. They yeah. will come yeah. back. Yeah. Talk to us about RTC services. Do we do we make you sign up for 24 months? No contract. Lock, lock you down on a contract? No, we don't no. If you're not all. happy, we're not happy. Okay. We we want to make you happy, we and if we can, happy you can customers. move on. Exactly. Yeah, our contract is um, is as long as you're happy with us, mm -hmm. that's our contract. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And we want to make sure that you're happy with us because, you're like Emily said, if you're not happy, we're not happy. That's so rare in this day and age. We just had to, I had to sign another cell phone contract, and 
you have to have those, of course. Again, those necessary <laughs> evils mm -hmm. of life, but... I don't like signing a contract. I don't want to be mm. committed. Something better might come along in the next two years. Right. And uh, so that's great to know that we still work for a company that, you know, if, if it's working for you, great. If it's not working for you, you're welcome to look elsewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. just um, read the fine print on those contracts. Oh, yeah. um, I just had a customer call me Friday and said that uh, his bill went up uh, 100%. So Really? It, literally it, doubled his it bill? It doubled his bill. Uh, when he hit the end of his agreement, mm -hmm. and uh, so he was just canceling them at that point. That's kind of the state of the world. We're so big anymore that a uh, massive corporation will spit something out, and they, they're moving on. They're on to their next thing. Whereas for us, when we launch a product, well, we've, we've done all this work to line up the people who know how to explain the product. We've got people behind it who will service the product. Mm -hmm. You know, we're involved. We're, mm -hmm. we're kind of as we said earlier, immersed, but um, that is a great thing to have in a small community. And, uh, you know, we're a dying breed, the small telcos of, of the world. Yeah, but we're, a, we're a dying breed, but yeah, we've been here, we're going on 123 yeah, years, yeah. right? So RTC is not a dying breed. Right. <laughs> yeah. RTC is going to be here another 100 years because we service the customer. Absolutely. And I think that you have to stay on top of the innovation that we talked about at the beginning. Is And you do. Uh, they go to conferences. They go to training sessions. You mm -hmm. More than you probably did for the many, many years prior to this at RTC, the sales force being educated, um, being the most informed people in the room. That's hard to do, and it does take time and energy, and you guys give the heck out of it, so we appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you. Other pieces of communication, you know, if you're a business, I know that most of those business calls go straight to you guys. You begin to bring them on as your as your customers. You begin to service them. Other pieces and parts of what you guys are doing upstairs that can maybe benefit folks that they might not know about? Yeah, we, uh, we have requests um, on a regular basis for business continuity solutions. Mm -hmm. So what happens if? This mm -hmm. happens. What happens if that happens? And yes. we have solutions for, for some of those. We actually have solutions in the lab that we're not ready to say, hey, um, we're going to recommend this. We're mm -hmm. still testing it. We want to make sure that as much as you can test electronics, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, they'll work. Excellent. But uh, um, we, were into, a, we were into some data storage a while back. Do we still offer those type of things to customers? More, or are we staying more along the lines of communication? Based? Well, we have that in the lab, okay. and uh, we're, we're, we want to make sure that it's you know uh, fully baked before we you know oh, offer sure. it out. Absolutely. Uh, we do offer and have offered to uh, some of our customers rack space in one of our data centers, okay. so that if they want to put their own backup appliance, mm -hmm. um, we can do that. And, of course, it goes over the fiber internet, so the speeds are incredibly yeah. fast. Uh, much better than trying to use any kind of an internet connection. Oh, my gosh. I can't even imagine the differentials there. Yeah, because, you know, even if you have a really fast connection from us, mm -hmm. as soon as you hit the next slowest one down, mm -hmm. the, down the line, um, then it, it's only that fast. Yeah. In fact, you know, if you're a fiber customer uh, with RTC and you do a speed test, you know, make sure that you uh, go to Chicago or you go someplace that can actually go as fast as we do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're only going to getting getting the speed of the other end, not right. of us. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. A lot of folks do the speed test. Of course, in the video side of things, we test do speed tests everywhere we go before we sure, go for a sure. live production. You have to. So quite familiar with those. But um, I will tell you that I've seen those numbers go up over the past few years, and I like where we're sitting right now. Mm -hmm. I've got... Stuff moving as fast. Of course, I deal with video, and video is gigabytes of data. Um, not quite to the terabytes of data, thank goodness. But with the gigabytes, it does take longer to upload anything or to process it. And to be able to upload something from one location back to RTC and have it done in 10 minutes, and to know that that was a 12 to 14 gigabyte file, that's impressive. Because yeah, I've had those things take 48 hours before. Yeah. Oh, that's my. amazing that you said that. Just before this, this, this uh, meeting, I was working on a customer who said they got um, um, a um, flyer in the mail mm -hmm. that they could get gigabit speeds over their cable connection. Mm. And I just finished some research on that, and it's true that in certain very you know mm -hmm. specific circumstances... Uh, they were able to get 945 megs really? on, on cable. However, 
they were only able to get 25 megs up, (laughs) which is ridiculously slow and would take forever to do what you just described. Oh, yeah, literally would take days. So our gigabit speed is 200 up or 10 times uh, what they're trying to eke out in a very specific um, circumstance yeah. on cable. Yeah, well, it works well for me. And uh, thank you from the guy who processes all yeah. the files. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's just one of the things. And again, I, I just keep going back to this. I'm not in Bloomington anymore. I'm not in Tempe, Arizona anymore. I am back home in Rochester, Fulton County, Indiana, population 21,000. And we have some of the best technology, some of the best internet, um, cable, phone services that you can find anywhere in the United States of America. That yes. just makes me pretty darn proud. And it makes me proud of you guys for what you're doing to perpetuate that every day. Um, you're meeting with customers not just in Rochester anymore, as you said. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're not driving out of state every day, but that circle, you know, of Fulton County just keeps getting bigger. Sort of what we're doing on the video side where we're mm-hmm. kind of growing our circle. That's, that's an important um, maybe thing that people would be interested in is that we're not actively going out and trying to you know get businesses in other states Mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're taking care of our customer base here Mm -hmm. that happens to include other states or the word uh, gets out and they approach us and it just happens they have multiple locations and it just works out well but we'll always be loyal to our hometown oh yes we're never going to be too big for our customers here in rochester amen amen you know um yeah hey i was rooting for pioneer volleyball this weekend at semi-state rochester's girls weren't in it you know pioneer made it we had it on here but yeah i'm still a zebra you know what i mean i I get that and and even though we branch out you're branching out we're still hometown rochester absolutely and always will be always will be absolutely Mm -hmm. yeah our, our customers are number one yeah absolutely well, folks, you're not going to find a more sincere group. You're not going to find a group who wants to help. Um, you know, sales. Oh, he's going to come in and sell me more than I need. She's going to come in and give me, I can't, you know. That's not what this group is about. This group is about making sure you have what you want, that you're well-informed, and that you're well-serviced during, before, during, and after the sale, if you will. Um, and that's not a sales pitch. That's just a heartfelt dose of customer service is the way I see that. I would say that. more more often than not, we save actually money. save money yeah. when we give you better technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Well, again, this is your uh, sales department, your technology sales department here at, or team. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it right. Uh, here at RTC, Mike Walkman on the end. We've got Emily Bailey here in the middle, and of course, Sharon Morris. Sharon, you used to do some of this RTC4 stuff, didn't you? Long time ago. I was looking in the archives the other day, and Oh, we did Batmobiles and pens we did. and just about everywhere, but she's been too busy. She's uh, not been down in my studio for an interview in a while, so it's good to get you down it here. It was very nice of you to ask. Thank you. But uh, everybody's doing good stuff. We're going to get them back down here some more, and uh, we'll bring you up, maybe do some tech tips and some other things to help our customers sure. as okay. we go along Happy here. Happy to do okay? it. That'd be great. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, folks, for tuning in. Have any questions, give the folks here a call at 223 2191 Ask for the sales team. They'll be happy to come out and help you out. Thanks again for watching.